Hey guys, what's up? Russ, rwgresearch.com. So, uh, here's what I got for you. This is the part three now of the plasmatizing donut here. What I've done is I've ran a wire inside there so it's really close to this connector. And by the way, I had a little accident. Yeah, it fell off the table and had that valve on it and it just snapped right off. Which, actually, things happen for a reason, don't they? I believe that strongly. And now I have two good electrodes. So uh, right now, uh, just turn this thing on. I'm going to give it a little bit to get that hydrogen flowing out this side. And, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. So uh, basically, I've just got my things really close. Uh, somebody left me a comment and said that... Um, the, to calculate, you know, what it is to make the arc across the uh, the hydrogen like that to turn it into plasma. Uh, also, you can do like vacuums and stuff. But uh, what he said was uh, like ambient air is. Um, let's just say you have to make an arc jump one inch. Then uh, hydrogen, you have to make it two inches. It's basically like double the 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 length. So I got it real close here. It's about uh, I don't know an inch and a half. So we'll see what happens. I right, wish me luck. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, I hear it. <laughs> it's just creating an arc. I don't know if you guys saw that. Get a little closer. Basically, it just created an arc across there. It didn't really do anything. So, let's slap it on this cap. By the way, this capacitor doesn't hold the charge. Um, I don't really know why. But I know some of you were concerned about me grabbing these wires right away. But for whatever reason, there we go. For whatever reason, they don't hold the charge. I can't really tell you why. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. That's a little bit there. Oh, God! It scared me. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Now let's move it back, shall we? It's definitely getting hot in there. That's for sure. Three, two, one. Oh, there went my safety gap. What happened? I think my wires turned. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, I burned a hole in my toroid. And it's on fire. <laughs> That's bad. Well, uh, yeah. There's a hole right there. See it? Probably not. Well, I'm going to let that one go at that for now. And uh, that was kind of my first test. I wanted to see if I could create the uh, hydrogen. <laughs> look, how, look how hot that got. Look how soft it is. Wow. So, uh, the answer would be kind of. Um, still got to do some more experimenting on how to get that a little bit better. But, uh, yeah. See, look, I'll prove the point. Nothing there. I, I don't know. They, they're dielectric filled capacitors. They, they don't hold any charge. Kind of weird, really. But, uh, yeah. So now we know. Uh, now we know. <laughs> wow, it is hot right there like really really hot I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick this barb on here real quick and light this Let's see how much hydrogen is coming out of here because I got a little more voltage today a little more just a little more so we'll see what happens yeah I mean I piled in it yeah it's a pretty good flame there a really good flame. Can't complain about that. There you go. Alright. This rough. Uh, I'm going to get the EPG stuff set up and I'm going to play with the argon and, and stuff for now. Um, I got it sitting down here ready to uh, ready for testing. So I guess I'll go ahead and uh, get that set up. Start doing some testing. Um, yeah. Stay tuned. Russ. Peace.